What's happening? What's happening? Hollywood Yellow checking in. We back for another episode of Hollywood Set Tripping. We're going to do a little history. Now, you know I do the on this day histories, but this just going to be a little something di different, you know? Oh, we're going to do history on crazy events that happen in America and all over the world. And today, we're going to talk about the assassination of U.S. Federal Judge John Woods, a.k.a. Maximum John. Yeah, Maximum John. Yeah. Judge Woods was the first federal judge to be assassinated in the 21st century back in 1979 in San Antonio, Texas. The U.S. District Judge was known for being tough. You know, he was a real tough judge. That's why they called him Maximum John, because he was hitting you with them the maximum numbers. You know what I'm saying? But it was he was really hard on, you know, drug dealers and, you know, people of the other kind. Yeah. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But he was real strict when it came to um, drug traffickers and stuff like that. And in May 1979, Judge Woods was set to be the judge for the trial in a um, Jimmy Sagra case. And Jimmy Sagra, he was a known marijuana drug kingpin, you know, had connections with the Mexicans and the Colombians and all that. And he knew Judge was going to hit him with a, a crazy sentence. You know, he was trying to bribe the judge. But judge wasn't taking it. He wasn't going. Judge was ready to, you know, send him up that road. So Jimmy hired a hitman for uh, 250000 That 250000 back in them days, listen, 250000 back in 79, listen, you know somebody was going to take the hit. And the man that took the hit was... Charles Harrelson, the father of actor, well-known actor, Woody Harrelson. On May 29th, 1979, Charles Harrelson shot and killed the judge in the Alamo's not Alamo Heights neighborhood. And um he went on the run until September, September 1980. He killed them in, on May 29th and went on the run, and they didn't catch him until 1980, September of 1980. And uh, he ended up getting convicted and getting two life sentence. But Jimmy was never convicted for that case. He Jimmy never was convicted for you know high, pulling the judge hit. You know he never was convicted for doing the judge hit, but. Both of their stories, this really, I just came on this to talk about the judge. But as far as Charles Harrelson, his story, and um, Jimmy Shagra, I might do episodes on this, just them, because they both, woo, yeah, they both was on some shit. They both was on some shit. Charles was a fool. Charles was a fool, but... um. Woody Harrison, he didn't come up with his father. I think his father left him when they was like seven or eight years old. So they didn't have a relationship. And um, Charles died when he was, uh, I think he was in his 60s, in like 2007, in, Co in a Colorado prison. But I think him and his son, I think him and Woody end up I think Woody started talking to him, you know, close to his last days. I think they, you know, I ain't going to say how to bond, but I know he's talked to him. I mean, I guess they said they peace or whatever. But, yeah, that's it. That's the story of Judge Woods, a.k.a. Maximum John. <laughs> Maximum damn John, man, that is real. <laughs> Maximum John, man. Judge John Woods, Maximum John, man. Hollywood Yeller, checking out.